How's it going, everybody? Just uh, something new I got. I just uh, went up and picked it up at my local FFL dealer. Uh, about this uh, firearm from J&G Sells. This is a uh, Harrington and Richardson model 649. Has a uh, 7.5 inch barrel. You can see a little from the distance, you can kind of tell a little better. Uh, it has some uh, pretty nice wood grips. It looks like it's nicked right there, but it's not. It's just like a the color of the wood, but it's it's not nicked or nothing. The other side, it is unloaded. This is kind of like an old uh, single action type of revolver, uh, but actually this is more modernized in the fact that, well. I don't know about modern, but yeah, I guess you'd say that. It's uh, actually uh, double action. So uh, again, it is unloaded. Uh, but you can actually cock it back like an old single action revolver, like what it's uh, supposed to be like. It's a nice, you know, uh, single action trigger pull. But it's actually also double action. Of course, I don't want to let it dry fire. It's not good to dry fire 22s, or actually any rim fire cartridges. See, it's double action. Oh, I did it once so well. Uh, yeah, so it's kind of like a single action revolver, but it's actually double action, so it's pretty cool. Sights on it are actually not too bad. You know, most single action is just the rear is actually just like a little notch in the receiver and the top of it. This one actually has a, uh, a little blade. Uh, has a little loading gate you know, right here, like an old single action. This gun is chambered uh, 22, or uh, the cylinder is actually a 22 Magnum cylinder. That's all that the gun came with. Uh, I think it was supposed to come with a 22 uh, long rifle cylinder too, but of course, whoever owned this gun prior uh, either lost it or did not have it or whatever the case was, but the 649, I believe, was a, uh, you know, kind of like my heritage uh, manufacturing 22 Magnum and 22 LR combo, which I will do a video on that one later on. But uh, this one is basically was like the same thing as that. But uh, of course, it didn't come with the 22 LR cylinder. I actually need to see if there's a way I could find one. I know uh, eGunParts.com has them. Well, not anymore, but they had some. Uh, they're like 30 something bucks for a long rifle cylinder for this gun. But of course, they're sold out. So hopefully, I'll keep checking every now and then. Hopefully, they'll get some more in. And I will buy it so I can be able to shoot 22 LR and 22 Magnum. And I think it'll actually bring this gun's value up a little more, too, for the fact of that it uh, has both cylinders, you know. But yeah, it's a uh, pretty cool gun. The fact that they don't make these anymore. H&R no longer makes revolvers or handguns anymore. They haven't for many years now. So I thought it was something uh, that would be interesting to, to say that I actually have an H&R revolver. And this is a model I actually haven't seen any videos on YouTube, so I will probably be the first one on YouTube with a, uh, uh, a video on this uh, particular model. So I think it'd be pretty sweet, you know. So uh, if anybody has any questions, uh, you know, I'll try to answer as best I can. You know, I don't really know a whole lot much about this gun as far as uh, some of the facts on it, but you know, I can do. You know the best I can. Oh, and yeah, uh, take down. You just push this uh, button down right here, hold it down, pull the pin out. The cylinder comes out basically. I don't actually think you have to have it cocked back in uh, half cock or nothing. I think you can actually just take it out while the hammer is completely forward. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool gun. It'll be a fun shooter. Something I won't shoot all the time since I don't have an LR cylinder. But uh, 22 magazine are pretty expensive. But. Um, Hope you guys like it. Uh, have a good one.